All right, welcome back to Flight Sim 2020. Today, we're once again in the Fly-by-Wire A320NX, but we're not gonna be flying anywhere because I've got a tutorial for you. About a year ago, I made a tutorial on how to set up your remote MCDU. So load up your MCDU for the A320 on another device on your local network. Um, but the method has changed for doing that. So we no longer have to run that little application and keep the server application running in the background. Fly-by-Wire now uses a system called SimBridge. And in today's video, we're gonna go through a quick four-step process that you need to get uh, the SimBridge remote MCDU up and running. There will be timestamps below. There will also be links in the description to the relevant documentation on the Fly-by-Wire website. And so let's jump straight into it. Okay, so first things first, we have to have SimBridge up and running. So if we go into the Fly-by-Wire installer, we go to the Fly-by-Wire tab, which is the first one. And down here, we should see SimBridge, which should be installed automatically when you install the A320. However, it may not be running automatically. So we need to come and click here. Mine is currently running. If it isn't, you will see a start button here, which you can click. And of course, you can go into the auto start options and turn it on so that it launches SimBridge automatically. If we go down to the system tray, we should see our fly-by-wire SimBridge running over there. So that is step number one completed. Having SimBridge running will allow the aircraft to communicate to your remote MCDU in whichever browser you choose to load it. Right, next we need to jump into the cockpit and go to the fly pad. And we're gonna come down here to settings and go to sim options. And again, in order for SimBridge to work, this option here, enable SimBridge connection, needs to be set to auto. If we turn it off, uh, it's obviously not gonna work. Setting it to auto will allow our remote MCDU to connect to the aircraft. And there we can see it says successfully connected. Now, while we are here, we can also make note of the SimBridge port. The default is gonna be 8380. If you are just using this in a simple setup where you are opening up uh, your MCDU on an iPad or on your smartphone or whatever on the same network, we can leave it as default. So I'm just gonna leave that as is. Right, once we've got all that set up, we can actually go down to the system tree and if we right click on the SimBridge and go to remote displays, we can open the MCDU and that will open the aircraft's MCDU in a browser on the local computer. So if that's where you want to run it, if you just want to have that on a separate screen on the same computer or something like that, this is as far as you need to go. Once SimBridge is running and once it's enabled in the aircraft, you can just open up that remote MCDU. If you want to open your MCDU on another device on the network, there's an extra step that we need. So what we need to do is we need to come down to our computer settings and we need to go into network and internet because we need to get our IP address for this computer that we are running FlightSim on. So here under your network connection, we're gonna click on properties. And if we scroll down to the bottom, this IPv4 address is the one that we need. So we need to make note of this because we're gonna enter this in the URL on the other device that we want to open our MCDU. Okay, then once we've done that, we need to take those two things we've made note of. So we've got our computer IP address and our SimBridge port number from the fly pad in the aircraft. And then all we need is this URL. So we're gonna type this into the browser on the device that we want to run the remote MCDU. It has to be connected to the same local network as the computer that's running FlightSim and the fly-by-wire aircraft. Um, one thing to note is you type it without these curly brackets. So here's my example underneath where it says computer's local IP address. We're gonna fill in that IP that we made note of and the port number by default will be 8380. If you've changed it for whatever reason, obviously you would put the updated number in the port position. All right, so as an example, I've put that URL into the Chrome browser on my iPad, and I can now interact with my MCDU remotely from my iPad. If I jump into the SIM and we have a look at the MCDU, I'm now using the iPad to control it, and it's updating in the aircraft as well. Something I'd like to point out, because this happened to me the first time, while I was trying to figure out how to get this connected, I actually exceeded this five minute duration without having a successful connection because I was busy reading through the documentation. 
Um, and then what happened is when I eventually got it right, my MCDU loaded up on my iPad, but it was completely blank. If that happens, come here to the fly pad and check. If it says inactive here, all you need to do is toggle it off. Now it says inactive and you will see my MCDU is now blank. All you have to do is go and set it back to auto and it should update and we get the message to say that it's successfully connected. All right, so that's gonna bring us to the end of this tutorial on setting up the remote MCDU using SimBridge with the Fly-by-Wire A320NX. You know what to do down below and I'll see you in the next one.